All right, let's go and explore the area and see what we can find. This is stunning. So we're in five. I wonder if we can go in other ones. We can. And we all look the same. Oh, there's a chest though. Some coins. Are we stealing? That's very Slytherin of us. I'm just kidding. No, we don't need fruit right now. Okay. Let's keep going. I love the look of this place. It's so pretty. And the music in the background is so nice. I, I love that. Instructions are in order. That voice sounds like Morning Myrtle. <laughs> okay, let's introduce ourselves to Sabat. Oh, it's Sabat. Can I help you? <laughs> oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallo. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. I've been seeing a ton of TikToks about Glad Sebastian and, right. and his role. <laughs> um, it was exciting. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Oh, well, what, what, what is he reading? reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. Why does but he every give me like Tom Riddle vibes in some of the movies? Textbooks. The way he um like talks gives me Tom Riddle vibes. Hogwarts. Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Okay, that was fun. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, he gave me vibes like it was Tom, uh, Tom Riddle from the... This is so pretty too, oh my goodness. From the movies, when they give us the flashback of Tom and his childhood, um... Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know if that was gonna kill me or what. what? It turned so red and aggressive. I wonder if that's the men's common area or something. And that's why it got so aggressive? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. Let's go see what they're doing over here. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Imelda. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? We're playing wizard's <laughs> chess. Watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. <laughs> I love the music that gets you to play in the background. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. We handled it. We need to have a little and bit I of I think you're underestimating humbling. the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. Oh, There's she's nothing so like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to forward clear the mind. with her words. Goodbye, we'll just leave her for a nice minute. meeting you. And then now we just need to come over here. This is also really pretty. I I think I heard one. Oh, that's so cool! It's the 
Doubt mermaids find us that It's water. Oh. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. I'm Draco. Well, you certainly Draco had a Matt memorable Floyd. arrival. <laughs> Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right she away. She some confidence. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, <laughs> though I doubt you'll need it. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. That's cute. <laughs> Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin. Oh one my of goodness. the four founders of Hogwarts. Good for him. Not mm -hmm. something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status. A pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Mm. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. That was nice. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. I just want to look around. Revelio. I'm going to overuse that spell so much. It's not even funny. Don't get me started on how horrifying venomous tentacles are. Why are we supposed to engage in the class instead of just reading? Okay. okay. Oh, that is to literally exit the common room. Okay. Oh, I suppose because we're in the dungeon, so we have to go upstairs. That makes sense. Okay, so this is like to exit. We're not going to die if we go out here. <laughs> I thought we were going to die. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Same. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Hmm. Here you are. That's pretty. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me this and is a we really should put it to the test. Good way to do a tutorial. Like it this doesn't way. feel like a tutorial, but it is. Okay, we'll come back this. We'll I back. certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Revelio. <laughs> the guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate oh, yourself about wizarding law. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Okay. Oh. There we go. The statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. You just unlock a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire, 
only way to acquire XP. Okay. Your field guides tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Field guide pages. Each challenge has tiers, special rewards unlock each tier you complete from appearances to critical up upgrades. Rewards must be claimed in the challenges menu. Come back often to collect the rewards that you have unlocked. Awesome. I'm so excited. Okay. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Oh, oh that's cool. Hopefully it tells me what the combination, the thing is, the password to the common room, because I don't remember what it is. At all, <laughs> to be honest. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay, M is to open the map. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live. It includes the house common rooms and the Great Hall. Select the Grand Staircase region to continue. In the view, you can see the flue flames available in that region. Green flue flames represent the flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flue flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. The right side of the map is where you find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the library annex to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall, hall flue flames for you. Use A and D to rotate the map and fast travel to the central hall flue flames with space. Okay. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. This is stunning. You can get almost are you kidding me? In the oh my gosh. Quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Okay. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. I know what it is, I just you wanted to see what you would say. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Professor we'll talk to her again later. I'm not to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Um, I'm gonna say I'm afraid there I'm is I'm sorry, a... Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak oh, speaking. of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. <laughs> yes, you seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. <laughs> Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. 
I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Okay. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay. Let's talk to Professor Fick. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Mm. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay, so open the quest log. Some quests are locked by spell. In these cases, you'll need to do... Okay. Okay, let's go to... Charms class first. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. That's awesome. This will be Because I was going to get lost for Thank sure. You. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay, let's go to charms class. We completed our first quest. Okay, attend charms class, attend defense against the dark arts. Okay, let's go to charms. This is so pretty. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I love the fact that you can hear other people's conversation as you're running around. Oh, what is that happening? This is so cool. Look at all. Oh! So cool. Oh! Oh! I'm truly sorry. I didn't mean. What is happening? Uh, 
Oh, another one, I think. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him. Alright, our quest. I'm excited. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was funny. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. This is exciting. Okay, we're gonna learn a new spell. Okay. That was a pretty easy one. Akio. That is not bad. Thank you. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. <laughs> Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Okay. always down to get some fresh air. This is so exciting. I might not be talking a lot just because I'm really trying to immerse myself in what's going ah. on. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> what are we doing? Very simply, cast Akio Tap on one key. of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last yeah. possible moment. Oh. Excellent. Oh, just... Happens oh. to the best of us. That's it! Very good! There we go. Okay. That wasn't. I, once I figured out that I had to tap it again, I should have Very good! That. I didn't Points really understand. To Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! Okay, now I know what to do. Okay. You'll be the blues it's just her as turn. before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Okay. Clear? Yes, sir. Hmm. 
This is deep. Oh my gosh. She got like a perfect one. That is how it's what? done. Oh no. Here we go. I'm gonna lose. Oh no, I'm gonna lose. Yes. I waited too long again, I think. Oh no, it was perfect, okay. Excellent control there. What's this? She got a perfect score. How am there I supposed to beat that? Oh shoot. Well done. Can we try it again? I would have done a lot better if I wouldn't have rolled that one off the edge. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? How? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting okay, at first. this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter, focus I hate now. how the students you like laugh it. at you if you miss one. This <laughs> settles it all. That's so like, embarrassing. Okay, so I think my goal would be to do it when they're on the edge. That is how it's done. So, I'm gonna wait until... Oh yes, okay. Splendid! Is she gonna knock mine off? Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Quite impressive. Here Just have one go. more. I thought I had that. Okay. Here. Yes. Okay. I did it. I'm so excited. Perfect score. <laughs> Remarkable. Look at me walking away so confidently. <laughs> I love it. You can get so many different camera angles. Very good, both of you. Well done. That was fun. <laughs> I like that it gave us a chance to learn how to use the spell in like a fun, competitive, friendly environment. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Hopefully we can explore in this room a little Good bit. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Confident. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before mm. I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. She's very sweet. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. Hmm. So, yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. I thought there was a foot on the drawing board back there. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains There's of the Moon. There's a foot up in the board. <laughs> it's not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. 
Hmm. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> it's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah! I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Alright, let's go talk to him. A word of hand if you would. On humans, if you're so inclined. Oh, Sebastian. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Beth. You wanted to speak you know with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? <laughs> you did well, He's managing sweet. to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit mm. distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon okay. regarding a special, special assignment time. that I am preparing for you. So we did charms class. I just want to kind of run around here a little bit. I'm level two. Should we talk? Who is this? Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Duncan. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Hmm. Should we go to Defense Against the Dark Arts now? Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Yeah. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I feel like I keep Thank need you. to keep doing like, really the snarky, challenging. My brother will tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Hmm. Okay, let's go to Defense Against the Dark Arts lecture. I think. So let's see. So challenges. Wait, no, map, map, and then side quests are available. Okay, let's go to Defense Against the Dark Arts and see what's going on there. I'm gonna kind of like try and look for stuff along the way Rebellion. too. Um, What's over here? Who's this? No one. The thing is probably like, why are you running away from where you belong? What oh. are you up to now? Professor Fig's classroom. Okay. Let's go back downstairs again. Go to Defense Against the Dark Arts. We'll have so much time to explore. Pavelio. Does that dang mean there's something? Oh, a flu network, I discovered. So similar to the movie, that's crazy. Is that all you've got? 
You'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean uh, black oh skull. <laughs> it was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, we'll do this lesson and then we'll probably be done for the episode. How an old woman like me single handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Knowledge. <laughs> To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Love you so. Love you so. Yay. Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> now, let's try something a little larger. I love this so much. What are we doing? Okay. Am I gonna levitate Let this? us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As yeah. now, good. Now, well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, oh my gosh. I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cost, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso. This should be easy. Oh, oh good. Now perceptive. Protego. Am I supposed to be like destroying him? Okay, I'm glad we ended because I'm like, this man is gonna die. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I wish there was a romantic storyline in this. It would be so much fun. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. <gasps> Points, Points to, to Slytherin. Slytherin. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Professor Hecate. Mm -hmm. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. That makes me so happy. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Okay. All right. That I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. What do you have to say? Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Okay, let's go speak with Sebastian. As he's sulking in the corner. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. 
Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Um, I think In it fact, was. it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Of course I'm interested. <laughs> Till next time. You've drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Ravenia. Well, there's something up here. Oh, I need a Lohomora. Okay, what kind of quest do we have? Mm. Let's go see Professor Weasley. We'll finish the first day and then we'll be done. There's something in there, a flu network. If someone gets struck by a church broom, you think Oh, it's a courtyard. Okay. Oh, I guess you can't go out here. <gasps> a kitty. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Oh my gosh, she keeps prodding. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, I don't know what that means. you must <laughs> continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, <laughs> I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. 
You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Hmm. Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. I'm turning into the He'll people on TikTok. Well this is why I say my TikTok is everyone thirsting over Sebastian. And now I'm like thirsting over Sebastian too. <laughs> a rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates. Including his right hand of sorts. Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. This is so exciting. Okay. I'm gonna go report to Professor Rowan. And this looks like it's still locked. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes Ooh. things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Collect the flying page near the broken statue. Okay. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Do I have to, like, accio it? Yeah. Got it! Oh, yeah. Okay. And now... I have to go upstairs. What does this do? Oh, don't do that. That's not necessary. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. Okay, return to Professor Rowan. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. The Fountain of Transfiguration has a likeliness of like on top inside of this rock station plates. This is hmm, okay. Cool. Oh, we're level three. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? 
Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Okay. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. They're getting harder. <laughs> They're getting much harder. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the okay, alcove okay. by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Maybe I'm sorry. Perhaps oh, a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. <gasps> Perfect. That's so cool. Oh, I can jump. Nice and high. Okay. Well, we're gonna go see Sebastian and then we're gonna end the episode. How many times am I gonna say that? Okay. Let's go in and meet him and then do Hogsmeade and then be done. Oh. Okay, we're getting distracted. Let's explore again later. Hmm. That's pretty. In my opinion, this divination is rubbish. Ugh. Oops. Getting a little heavy handed with the Revelio spell. The wooden statue and a devoted study companion. Oh. Oh, there's a door. Yes, there is. Well, wow. there's a Sebastian. meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Yes, we shall. This is exciting, but for real, once this, once this is done, then we're going to be done for the day. How many times have I said that now? The reason I'm not doing too much exploring right away is because I'm assuming that this is going to unlock some areas, and then once we've finished a few quests, then we can do more exploring. This is stunning, though. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. <laughs> oh my gosh. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. Revelio. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. <laughs> she thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. 
They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Merlin's hmm. beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah! You can see Hogsmeade just past those rooms. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. It's stunning. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Any news about the dragon? I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. This was a very long run. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's this way? All right, I'll follow, I'll follow. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Oh my gosh. Good luck to both of you. A Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Exciting. Moonstone. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. This is exciting. Okay, we're here. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so it looks like they want me to be able to just like explore as much as I want. And so I'm going to leave it here and then we can explore the rest of it the next time. So we're going to leave it here and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.